Hey everyone, this is David Webb, Operations Manager with QuickBooks Made Easy, and this is a special edition of our January 2016 newsletter, but QBO style. And for the layman, that would be QuickBooks Online. Now, we didn't want you to feel left out by not having any Quick Tips dedicated to you QBO users, so I will be doing special Quick Tips centered around everything and anything that's QBO. Have a question, a burning desire, want to know anything about QBO, please feel free to send us an email at questions at quickbooksmadeeasy.com and you might see your question answered. Now, I know everyone is enjoying listening to my voice for a change, but let's go ahead and review how to set your closing date in QuickBooks Online. Okay, so here we are at the main screen. You go up to the little cog in the right hand corner and you go ahead and you click on to company settings. This is really easy. And under company settings, we go to advanced. And in the section that you see accounting, you click on accounting. Now, of course, you're going to want to make sure that your fiscal year is set to the correct month. If it's calendar year, then you're good to go. Uh, and ensure that you set your first month of income tax year, if it's going to be the same as the fiscal year, or if it's going to be January as well. I'm going to go ahead and pretend that this is our fiscal year, which it actually is. So I'm not pretending. Click close the books. And then we go ahead and we click the date. I'm going to go ahead and close this out at December 31st because all of our transactions have been reconciled. We are good to go. There should be nothing that is being changed in December. And now if we want to allow changes after the viewing or allow changes after a warning and entering the password, I'm going to go ahead and enter in the password. The password is 1234. I suggest you not make it 1234. And hit save. And it's, uh, no, I don't want my Google Chrome to remember this. Okay, and we're good to go. We have the closing date set. Go ahead and close out of this, and we're good to go. So if you have any users in the company that you do not want to change any transactions before that date, you will be set. I hope everyone is having a wonderful January, and we'll see you next month. Bye-bye.